Dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, a problem is solved on computation of income from other sources. Kindly watch the video till then. Like it, share. If you have any comments about the video, please put your comments in the comment box. Now, let's move to the whiteboard. This is an example of computation of income from other sources. The question runs like this here. Sri Ramadas, let me stretch. Sri Ramadas furnishes the following particulars of his incomes relating to the previous year relating to the previous year 2019-20 interest on 10% tax free bonds of A limited rupees 18,000 dividend from Tata Limited rupees five thousand dividend from foreign company rupees six thousand dividend from a cooperative society rupees 2000 interim dividend at 10% on shares of reliance company limited reliance company limited rupees 1000 interest on term deposit at bank in the bracket net rupees eighteen thousand directors fees rupees twenty thousand family pension amount rupees six thousand royalties from mining in the bracket expenses rupees 2000 rupees 20000 income from income from letting machinery and furniture rupees eighteen thousand rent received on subletting house house was hired at a monthly rent of rupees 500 one fourth one fourth sublet rupees 12,000 winnings from lottery net rupees 35,000 winnings from card games gross rupees 3,000 on 
वन इलेवन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ही परचेज कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट बॉन्ड्स कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट बॉन्ड्स वर्थ रुपीज फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फॉर विच ही बारोड रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड एट टेन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट पर एन एम ही क्लेम्स द फॉलोइंग एक्सपेंसिस कलेक्शन चार्जेस कलेक्शन चार्जेस ऑफ डिविडेंड रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑन फॉरन फॉरन कंपनी डिविडेंड इंटरेस्ट ऑन लोन टेकन फॉर द परचेज ऑफ शेयर्स रुपीज वन थाउजेंड इंटरेस्ट ऑन लोन टेकन फॉर द परचेज फॉर द परचेज for the purchase of capital investment bonds rupees 1000 repairs repairs insurance and depreciation amounting to amounting to rupees 6000 on on let out machinery etc loss on card games rupees 5000 compute the income from other sources for the assessment year 2021 so now let us go for solution of the same here computation of income from other sources name of the assessee Mr. Ramadas, previous year two thousand nineteen twenty, then the assessment year, assessment year twenty twenty one. Now let us discuss here one by one. Interest on ten percent tax free bonds of a limited rupees eighteen thousand. So here interest is already received. That is rupees eighteen thousand, which is to be grossed up here. Dividend from Tata Limited. Tata Limited is an Indian company, and the dividend received on the shares of Tata is totally exempt from tax under Section Ten, Subsection Thirty Four. Dividend from foreign company. is chargeable to tax dividend from a cooperative society rupees 2000 is chargeable to tax interim dividend at 10% on shares of reliance company limited rupees 1000 this is also an exempted income under section 10 sub section 34 interest on term deposit at bank this is net is given so it is to be crossed up The rate of TDS here is ten percent. 
director's fees is also chargeable tax family pension is exempted to the extent of one third of pension received or rupees 15000 whichever is less royalties from mining taxable and expenses are deductible under section 57 income from letting machinery and furniture is taxable rent received on subletting house the house was hired at a monthly rent of rupees 500 so only one fourth of the rent is deductible and the income from subletting is chargeable to tax winnings from lottery net is given we need to gross up here winnings from card games is chargeable to tax on 1 11 2019 he purchased capital investment bonds worth rupees 55000 on which he borrowed rupees 40000 at a 10% interest per annum so in this case interest on capital investment bonds is exempted from the tax under section 10 subsection 15 collection charges of dividend is deductible interest on loan taken for purchase of shares is deductible then interest on loan taken for purchase of capital investment bonds is not deductible as the income is exempted itself repairs and insurance depreciation amounting to rupees 6000 on let out machinery is deductible loss on card games is not deductible so now let us go for computing the income let me insert uh, three columns here so particulars rupees rupees now let us go by one by one here so the first one here interest on tax free tax free bonds tax free bonds so we need to consider only the gross interest so gross interest equal to net interest multiplied by 100 so let me divide this here by underlining so the rate of tds here he is 10 percent so 100 minus 10 which comes to 90 here so now let us substitute the values in the above formula so the net interest received given as it is 18,000 multiplied by 100. So let me divide this here by underlining. So the rate of TDS here is 90. Sorry, rate of TDS is 10. So net income is 90. So it comes to rupees 20,000. Then the next one we should take here uh, it is given as a uh, dividend from tata company limited is exempted dividend from foreign company so dividend from foreign company rupees 6000 is given here uh, sorry uh, yeah 6000 only so 6000 is chargeable to tax then the next we have got here dividend from cooperative society which is given as rupees 2000 so 2000 then interim dividend as we have discussed earlier it is exempted then interest on term deposit in term deposit at bank so we need to find out the gross interest gross interest equals to net interest multiplied by 100 so to divide the same thing here by underlining here so the rate of tds on bank interest is also 10 percent so 100 minus 10 that comes to 90 so now let us 
substitute the values in the formula so rupees uh, the net interest here is 18000 is given multiplied by 100 so to do let us divide this by underlining here so we get here 100 minus 10 that is 90 90 so it will be 20,000 so 20,000 the next one we need to go for directors fees directors fees which is given the problem as rupees 20,000 then family pension family pension so which is given as uh, rupees 6000 so 6000 from this less exempted less exempted under section 57 clause 2a 2a so that is one third of pension of rupees 6000 which equals to rupees 4500 or maximum of rupees 15,000 whichever is whichever is less so that comes to rupees 1,500 1,500 then in the outer column we will get rupees 4,500 4,500 then the next one royalties from mining which is given the problem as rupees uh, 20,000 then income from income from letting machinery and furniture which is given the problem as it is 18,000 then rent received rent received on subletting of house subletting of house which is given in the problem as it is 12,000 so 12,000 then winnings from winnings from lottery so we have given the net income so gross income equals to net income multiplied by 100 which will divided by so the rate of TDS here is on casual income it is 30 percent so 100 minus 30 will get 70 so now let's substitute the values in this formula so net income is which is given in the problem as rupees 35,000 so rupees 35,000 multiplied by 100 which is divided by underlining here divided by 70 so 70 here 7 1 the 7 5 the, so 50,000 will get so let's take this to outer column so 50,000 then we have got winnings from card games so in the problem we have provided directly the gross income so that comes to 3000 
3000 whereas the interest on uh, interest on the capital investment bonds is not uh, taxable here as it is exempted so the gross income will be arriving at so 175500 so this is gross income from this we need to deduct the expenses so less deduction under section 57 let us go by one by one here uh, that expenses on royalty royalty which is given the problem as it is 2000 then the next rent on sublet sublet house so one fourth of rupees 500 per month multiplied by 12 so which will be 12 is 60 so 6000 of 14 that comes to 1500 then collection charges collection charges on dividend so in the problem it is specifically given that it is incurred on foreign company dividend collection so which is deductible here suppose if it is given on indian company then it is not deductible here so which is given as a piece 600 then interest on loan interest on loan taken for purchase of shares so here it is rupees 1000 then interest on loan taken for purchase of capital investment bonds is non deductible as the interest itself is exempted then repairs insurance and depreciation and depreciation on let out machinery etc which is given as rupees 6000 so 6000 all the expense are directly over now so now let us go for here taking the sum of the deductions uh, 2000 plus 1500 3500 plus of 1000 4500 plus 10500 plus 6 11100 11100 So let me check once again 6 plus 5 11 carry 1 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 2 11 the next the difference here is income from other sources so now let us go for here uh, 1 lakh 75500 minus 11100 so 5 1 5 minus 1 4 5 minus 1 4 7 minus 1 6 1 so 1 lakh 64400 so now let us go for writing the notes here notes dividend from tata company limited and interim dividend interim dividend from reliance company limited are exempt from tax are exempt from tax under section 10 subsection 34 then the next one here both we have uh, taken in only one note itself then expenses relating to sublet house and letting of machinery and furniture 
are deductible are deductible then the next one here interest on capital investment bonds is exempted from tax under section 10 subsection 15 hence hence the interest borrowed sorry the interest on loan borrowed for the purchase of these bonds is not deductible is not deductible as the income itself as the income itself is exempted then similarly loss on card games is not adjustable is not adjustable against winnings winnings from lotteries i think all the notes are over perhaps so our answer here is income from other source let me make this bold here one lakh sixty four thousand four hundred So this is the answer what we are going to write. This is a very simple problem here. So any expenditure which is incurred by the SSC and such income is exempt. So the expenditure on the same are not deductible under section 57. Thank you.